Hi everyone, I'm in competition virtual World Cup Asia Pacific 2020. My name is Zaira Ayman Nabil, I'm 12 years old. I'm from Egypt. I'm a producer of Life International American School and I've been involved in robotics about eight years. I won the second place in competition called First Lego League 2017 in Core Values. And I won the first place in the same competition but in 2018 in Robot Game. And I won the third championship in First Lego League in 2019. I won the first place in World Robot Olympics in Night Sprint. And I won the third place in a competition called World Robot Olympics. The summary of preliminary challenge. My challenge task is to develop appropriate strategies of virtual robots to navigate through their respective virtual areas and collect objects while competing with another robot. I'm in Code Space Rescue Challenge under 19. The problem I investigated that the robot was was going to the collection box hardly or difficultly, so it wastes time and in that case the score minimal. I did a solution. In my solution, I used position X, position Y, compass, left wheel and right wheel. Uh, when the loaded objects are greater than 2, I get value of position X, position Y of the robot and of the collection box, and I determine with the compass the direction of the robot and I make a range for it from minimum to maximum to go to the collection box. The result that the robot goes to the collection box easily, and the conclusion that the robot goes also to the collection box easily, so it doesn't waste time, and in that case, the score maximums. Analyzes. My challenge task also is to collect super objects. The challenge test could be broken down into many, many tests, as here in my video. First of all, I generate two variables. Super X, Super Y. Okay, and then I add new substatement. Super object. Super object number not equal zero. Okay, and in the advanced action, the super x equal super object x and super y equals super object y. Add new substatement, super one. In the advanced condition super x bigger than position x and super y equal equal position y and loaded object smaller than six and compass um, bigger than 280 or compass smaller than smaller than 260 and the uh, turn will be 10 to 170 and I will set both variables and I use the key action 10 to 170 degrees and I use the key action to make the robots turn more precision and I'll copy what I wrote in the advanced action because I'll use it more than once and then I'll add new substatement for example super 2 and I'll paste them in the advanced action This is the way that, or the algorithm that I avoid the obstacle with by the three ultrasonic sensors. The tools, if statement, ultrasonic sensors, left wheel, right wheel. The advantages of using the um, advantages of uh, using the above tools and resources that they will avoid the obstacles perfectly without any stucking. This is the algorithm of finding objects. I collect objects by right and left color sensor and RGB stands for red, green and blue and this is a sign in C language, uh, this is a sign of OR and this is a sign of AND and here I use two parent big parentheses, two big parentheses because instead of writing after this one or after this thing, uh, load of just smaller than six, load of just smaller than six, load of just smaller than six in each one. So I just did a big parenthesis and I wrote load of just smaller than six. This is the condition. In the action, um, the duration equal three seconds and in the key action, finding objects and right and left wheel equal zero and left equal one. Tools and resources. 
key action led duration left three right wheel and the advantages of using above tools and resources that they're able to collect all the objects that means it may generate uh, a lot of super and super plus objects and also it collects with both uh, color sensor and all the colors in the collection box uh, to use position x position y and compass to go to the collection box i get the value of position x and position y of the collection box and of the robot and i determine with the compass the direction of the robot and i make a range for it from minimum to maximum to go to the collection box when it collects more than two objects the tools and resources position x position y compass left wheel right wheel key action key actions like turn zero degree turn 180 degree turn 120 degree turn 90 degree and i use them to make my robots turn more precision the advantage of using the above tools and resources, the robot will go to the collection box easily. And in that case, the robot will not waste time and um, the score will maximize. This is the algorithm of super object is the same as in the video, but there's only one thing uh, I want to say it that here I used equal here. I used equal equal because here I'm seeing a command. I I wrote it in the That's why I wrote it in the advanced uh, action. But here I'm asking is super y equal position y. So here that's why I wrote equal equal. The, uh, everything is the same as the video. Uh, the tools and resources variable compass position x position y key action uh, of the turns and the advantage of using the above tools and resources the robot will collect super object that means that was the score will maximum the implementation or the flow chart Debugging. The robot performing wasn't as what I've planned and coded. The possible co case that the robot, uh, I wanted the robot to enter the blue area easily, and the second thing, I wanted the robot to lose the number of the that is stored in the variable uh, if the robot collected the super objects. In the first case, I started to use compass position x position y to enter the blue area, but in the second case, I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. Details about my first solution. The, I started to measure and make ranges of the places where I'll take decision to enter the blue area. And for the compass, and I used some key actions of the turns, like turn zero degree and these things, to make the turn more precision. The conclusion, my comment on my result, it, my result wasn't really great and wasn't too bad. Uh, if I was asked to solve the same challenge again, I would improve my strategy by staying in the uh, place that has scanning objects for a while next to the blue area, um, there randomly to generate super and super plus objects. Or I can count the objects that are uh, that the robot uh, collected and start to put a range for each color to be collected so the robot will generate super or super plus objects from the beginning of the match. The learning experience. I learned from close space robot how to program by C language and how to solve most of my problems. I've gone through the virtual RCAP close space challenge, how to make videos and how to program by C language and develop my strategies. I would like to share with other close space participants how to measure an area by position x position y if I was asked what is the thing that we want to share with, with another close space participant. Thank you.